Good day. Welcome to the laboratory. This is my Jensen 25. It's just undergone a bit of a retrofit. I put new Teflon washers under the steam dome. And at the join here. I haven't yet trimmed it to fit. And I've also got a black fiber washer between the steam chest and the engine base, which you can't see, just for a bit of insulation. The biggest change, however, is the flywheel. This flywheel is for the Jensen 55. Here's the original Model 25 flywheel. They're the same diameter, but the rim is thicker. It fits with plenty of clearance and uh, weighs in at about half a pound, which is uh, at least twice as much as the old one. I'm just going to give it a bit of a run to see if I've got the timing right. Well, here it is. I'll just start from stop. giving the engine a much more meaty feeling, which is exactly what I wanted. The intention was to make a modern hobby line Jensen behave a lot more like the original cast iron ones. And the heavy flywheel is a key feature in those. We'll get some slow running after I turn down the heater a bit. Wide again. Timing sounds pretty good to me. What I'll do later is hook up my tachometer to it, and if I know the engine's pulling a roughly the same revolutions in either direction and the timing must be right. But for now, this is good enough for me. Alright, we're going to dial down the heat now so we can try some slow running. Back in a tick. Just trying to adjust the regulator here to get a nice, smooth, slow run. This particular engine has always been weaker on the push stroke of the piston than on the pull. No matter which direction it's spinning in. I'm not sure why. It 
does tick over nicely though. Well, I'm happy. Well worth the money for the flywheel. Which you can order straight from Jensen. I also forgot to mention I also placed some Teflon washers here. here, and I put one between the connecting rod and the crank plate, just because my con rod tends to smack the crank plate whenever it comes around. And hopefully it'll lead to a little less oiling. Although knowing me it won't. I tend to slop the oil on pretty thick. Got the heater dialed right down. And here goes our camera. About to cut out. Now I know what you're saying. Sure, Mr. O, it looks pretty, but can it still sing and dance? So we've got one of our generators hooked up again. Radio. And, uh... Let's do it. We have our capacitor in the circuit to help smooth out the voltage. It means the radio doesn't drop out when we change direction. And we're not even full throttle yet. Just cut that off. Here's some chuffing. Generator. And there you have it. Mr. O's Model 25 improved. Thanks for watching.